The turmoil at banks in Cyprus is ongoing as customers continue to wait for their reopening tomorrow. Following the resignation of the Bank of Cyprus chairman on Tuesday when a special administrator was appointed, now the chief executive, Yanis Kipri, has been fired. Not being able to access money and all the volatility is taking its toll, according to this woman who says, people are depressed, no one knows what tomorrow will bring, it's all drama. The bank closures are now in their second week, leaving people with limited cash. You can't really do anything. People don't have any money on them. They're scared and uncertain. We don't know if the banks will open tomorrow. Agreeing to a 10 billion euro bailout means that people with more than 100,000 euros in a Cypriot bank account will have some of it taken away in a levy. It's not only the super rich who are affected. Many people have saved for their retirement. Well, I really think they should not touch my money. I don't know how they can do it, though. But, you know, what can we do? I mean, I wish we never came. The UK government flew in 13 million euros over the weekend to pay staff at two military bases. But what about the other expats living in Cyprus? There are a lot of people who come here with very sad stories. Um, and it's, it's worrying. It's frightening that the bank's an official organisation that for years we've trusted. No, you can't trust them anymore. There's still no confirmation of how big the levy on bank accounts will be or how long capital controls will remain in place.